shift the shame of porn to leave it behind forever. I'm Dr. Trish Lee, cognitive neuroscientist and sex addiction recovery coach. In this video, let's talk about shame, how it impacts porn consumption and leads to porn addiction, and then how you can shift out of shame into higher energy fields, for real, neurological energy fields, so that you can feel better and you can break this loop forever. All right, let's break it down. So first of all, what does shame have to do with porn consumption or porn addiction? We know from the science that shame is a core fundamental emotion that goes along with porn consumption. So for most people who get roped into or hijacked into a porn habit, shame is a fundamental. So it could just be shame about sexuality in the first place from your family, your culture, your religion. It can be shame from an experience that happened to you when you were young, some type of sexual abuse or some experience like bullying or any traumatic, there's low T, there's small T or big T traumas. And we know that trauma and dysfunction can really add to the feeling of shame in childhood. And then at the same time, you find the screen and you find porn and it floods your system with dopamine, making you feel good, taking you away from the shame that you're feeling because of something that's happening to you. So the dichotomy is that sex and watching sex and masturbating becomes this oasis in the desert of what might be shame because of sexuality. That's a dichotomy or because of other experiences. But no matter what, your brain is hijacked by that good feeling and the neural mechanisms behind it from a very young age. And from there on out, the seeds of addiction have been planted and they continue to grow every time you go back into the screen. So basically you're trudging these neural pathways every single time you use them. Use it or lose it is the is the way that we think about it. So every time you use those neural pathways, you are boring them into your brain even more. Thus, what happens is shame as a core gets rooted and porn and masturbation become the solution to the shame. Now it becomes a self-feeding cycle because many times the porn that you're consuming escalates into uh, more dramatic, uh, for lack of a better word, genres. And I, you know, I talk to people a lot and what people tell me is that they find themselves moving into new genres that are just completely amoral to them or immoral and it does not jive with their beliefs. Many times it's on the brink of illegal acts or illegal people or illegal genres or those that are unethical and just do not jive with what they think and see in themselves. And that creates a lot of shame too. So how do we break the shame cycle? The way to do it is obviously to stay out of the screen, but that can be really, really difficult because these neural mechanisms are so ingrained and they've been used for such a long time. So Hebb's law says neurons that fire together, wire together. So if you keep firing up the neural pathways that lead you into porn, keep you in porn, and then keep the shame going, it will be very difficult for you to be able to move beyond shame. But now here's the beauty. Every seven years, all the cells in your body regenerate which means every seven years, you're a brand new person. So I know seven years might feel like a long time, but the more time and distance you can get from being the person who had to consume those acts or genres or view those people, every minute that passes, seven minutes first, 17 minutes, seven days, seven weeks, seven months, the more time and space you give between that version of you who needed it and you needed it because of that inherent shame and pain in the first place, and you needed it because you were constantly using those neural pathways. But now when you lose it by not using it, anti hebbian learning theory that's called, now you can become a new version of yourself because your cells are regenerating and you're, you're physically, mentally, and emotionally becoming a new person. So day by day, as you get distance from that person, you can feel empathy for the old version of yourself who needed that. 
You needed that level of arousal to make your brain feel okay. But especially if you work the brain tip strategies that I give you in these videos, you're becoming a new version of yourself with every single action step that you take. So when you learn from me in these videos and you go use the brain tip strategies at the end of the videos, in fact, you're rewiring your brain and you're affecting your brain, your mind, and your body in a new direction, becoming a new version of yourself who no longer needs porn so you can feel empathy. And I've done this in my own life. I'll look back at some of the things that I did and I'll go, oh, sister, what were you doing or thinking or where were you at? I would love to have a conversation with myself every seven years for all of my life. That would be absolutely mind blowing to see where I was at even just a decade ago. What were you thinking? And but I'm compassionate towards that version of myself. I think that girl needed that at that time. I made that choice because I felt like I needed to. I wasn't where I am now. And I'm sure I will absolutely cringe in 10 years when I watch these videos and go, oh my gosh, what were you doing? Because of the growth and the transformation that's going to happen for me in the upcoming seven years. What an awesome, awesome thing. So look back at that version of yourself with empathy, even if it was yesterday. But the only way you can do that truly is if you're taking new action steps. So watch my videos, watch them all. Better yet, join my program. But if you're not in a position to join my program where the plan is laid out comprehensively, unwire, rewire, hardwire, watch the videos on this channel and implement the action steps because shame starts to dissipate as you can have empathy for your old version of yourself. Now, here's a cool thing is that then you start to feel empathy for other people and it connects you to the human race. It raises the collective consciousness by you becoming a new, better version of yourself. It is a win win, a no brainer, if you will. OK, I hope that helps you out. And if you're looking for help on the journey, please go over to drtrishlee.com. I am here to help you. And as always, control your brain or it'll control you.